It has risen again. Sir Daniel Fortescue, see? The hero of Galomir who fell at the first charge. The fog of war and the shrouds of time conspired to turn the arrow fodder into the savior of the day. But we knows better. It is alone. Fate has given it a second chance. A chance to forget the ignoble truth. A chance to defeat Zarok and live up to the legend. We hopes it does well. Read softly. Zarok awaits beyond these gates. The master meets with the demon from the mausoleum. Hatching plots of purest evil. Forgotten nobodies would be wise to make themselves scarce. Welcome to the Hall of Heroes, where the bravest warriors from history spend eternity, feasting, singing, and arm wrestling. If they think you're worthy enough, you may be able to persuade them to give you a new weapon. We have failed the master. We give our lives. Back from the battle so soon? It must think it is a hero by now. But only a true hero is worthy of a place in the Hall of Heroes. See the ghostly statue of your fraudster self? When it has turned solid, a true hero you will be. <laughs> ah. Fresh air. We hate these dark old caves and their filthy stench of old witches. A coven of the warty old hags lived here once, unholy fires burning all night while they brewed up unspeakable muck in their cauldrons. They moved on years back, but the smell still makes our eyes sting. It's the Hall of Heroes shopping mall. Bargain hunters, should check out the ground floor. Well-to-do shoppers should check out the upper floor. That's where it's at. All has changed outside the necropolis. Pearls go this way, pearls go that way. Nasty, painful death waits round every turn and over every hill. Bon voyage. Pumpkin gorge, dead ahead. The nursery to Galomir's favorite side dish. Step inside and understand the true horror of fruit gone bad. All bow down before the master of the vegetable patch. The prize-winning plant who can summon an army of cabbage with a wave of his noble tendril. He's delicious, he's nutritious, he's Zarok's secret recipe. He's the Pumpkin King. Gaining allies in the Hall of the Heroes is the way forward. Hack, choppity chop, off with a few zombies' heads, and it thinks it can redeem itself in battle. You still have a long way to go to rank as the best. Poor villagers. The master possesses them. It mustn't hurt them. Hurt guards, though. They seek out an object of great power. Back and forth like a supernatural yo-yo. Maybe the master will make it harder to find those magic egg cups. None shall enter. The shadow demons are entombed within, separated from the world of goodness and light until the earth cracks open. No one, not even the Dark Lord Zarek, can release them without the Shadow Artifact. Leave now, or share their doom. What have you done? Once again, the Shadow Demons are wreaking havoc across the land, and it's all thanks to you. The single most destructive and wretched creatures in the history of the world, and you've given them an early parole. They will be heading for the ruins of King Peregrine's castle. Galamir is doomed. Run, little man. If the master found it now, he would crush it like a bag. <laughs> Hark, we can hear them.
the soldier ants approaching. Onward, and meet your tiny nemesis. Cold and dark and reeking of death. We remember some ancient battle fought here between the forces of good and the dark armies of Zarek. Now the marshes are full of the restless dead. The ancient people of this long-vanished town once sought to harness the power of crystals found in the caverns below. Now Zarek seeks to unlock the secrets of this arcane science. This mine shaft leads deep into the earth to certain doom in the crystal caverns. Wouldn't this make a wonderful tourist attraction? Come see Stengard the Mighty! Come and see the last of the centaurs! Oh, and see that dork over there? That's Daniel Fortescue, would-be hero! Ha 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 ha! The ancient town of Mellowmead was destroyed by creatures known as Rhinotaurs. They live on still, but in a state of hibernation deep within these caverns. They use the crystals to prolong their worthless hides. Welcome to Castle Peregrine. In the time of King Peregrine, this magnificent edifice was the seat of power and home to the royal household. Now it is home only to ghosts and forgotten memories. Sir Daniel Fortescue, it's been a long time. Welcome back to your home. But it is sad that you should see it so. The jewel in Galomir's crown has become a corrupt haven for Zarak's army of shadow demons. Sir Daniel Fortescue, standing bold as you like in the foyer of Zarak's castle. Who'd have thought it? Not us, that's for sure. We's afraid the master of the house is out trying to plunge the land into eternal night. But come on in and make yourself at home. Using a dark magic called science, Zarak has constructed a device based around the mechanical measurement of time. The innards of this chronograph are fiendishly complicated. Keep your eye on the flying timepieces and get ready to reset the hands of the master time clock. You prove us all wrong. Maybe it is destined to be a hero. Maybe it can defeat Zarok. The people of Galamir may never know of your past mistakes, and you will indeed be remembered as the people's hero. Your time in exile is over. Welcome to your new home, Sir Daniel Fortescue. We never thought you'd get this far. Your final encounter with Zarek awaits beyond this point. He has surrounded himself with his unnatural bodyguards, but you may yet even the odds by calling upon the lost souls collected within your chalice. Place the chalice on the shield at the heart of the arena. Good luck, Sir Daniel Fortescue.